Sin separate us from God. Okay, now I want to take you this scripture right here in the uh, 17th chapter of the uh, book of, of Matthews. Here in Matthew, the 17th chapter, the first through the fifth verse, Jesus on this particular occasion, he had three of his disciples that he was taken up into this mountain uh, uh, with him. We call it the mountaintop experience. And the Bible says, after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias, talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. Now, Jesus on this particular occasion here with his disciples here, uh, had them to experience this. Now, as we look at this here, uh, Jesus was on this mountain here, and all of a sudden he was changed and was transfigured, and he, his clothes began to shine as white as the light. And then all of a sudden Moses, Moses and Elijah appeared there with him, talking with him. So Peter got happy here in the fifth verse, uh, in the fourth verse. Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Now that sounds like a good idea, but you know what? They was placing Moses and Elijah on the same level with Jesus. And of course, that just would not work because that's when God spoke up and God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. In other words, what we have here is that God spoke up and said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased, hear ye him. We must hear Jesus Christ today. Why? Why not Moses? Moses was a good man. Why not Elijah? Elijah was a good man. But you know what? Moses was a good man, but he was a sinner. Elijah was a good man, but he was a sinner. Now, I want to show you something. If I want to be successful in life, what I would do, I wouldn't go to somebody that have failed in uh, business or fa even in a marriage, fail in marriage to try to seek advice. I would want to go to the person that has a, a, a good marriage, a person that has a good business and successful in it. And that's the same way it is with, with uh, living the Christian life. Uh, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And so therefore, uh, we must go to someone other than man because uh, another man who has failed just like me can't tell me how to live the Christian life successful because he has not lived the Christian life successful. And so this is why God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. We must hear Jesus Christ uh, if we are going to get our lives right and if we're going to get rid of sin because Jesus Christ is the sinless son of God. He is the only man that ever walked on the face of this earth and did not sin. 